Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin has once again been linked with Shiba Inu and the Shiba Inu community. To find out what this new interaction is about, make sure to keep watching this video. There's also an exciting new update in Shiba Inu that you cannot afford to miss, so keep watching. Disclaimer Hey there, Shiba Army, and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome here. I give daily Shiba updates and news on this channel, so if you're planning to stick around for all of that, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you won't miss any of my new updates. Now that everyone is good and settled, let's get into today's video. Before we get into VB's news, let's talk about that crazy new update. The studio that worked with Marvel and Star Wars franchises is teaming up with Shiba Inu. Without even providing any sort of explanation, you already have an idea of how wild this is. We all know how big Marvel and Star Wars are. The fact that the studio with them is coming into partnership with Shiba Inu can only mean something good for the ecosystem. The announcement was made via a number of channels including the Shiba Swap blog. According to the press release, Shiba Inu has chosen world-class visualization studio, The Third Floor TTF, for the design and construction of its highly anticipated Shib.io, the Metaverse project. If you had any doubts as to the work that the dev team is putting into making Shiba Inu bigger and better than it already is, this partnership should help to quell it. The fact that TTF works with Marvel is not the only thing in its portfolio. According to that press release, TTF is the largest visualization studio contributing to the production of popular IPs across film, television, video games, VR, AR, and location-based entertainment. Throughout its 17-year history, The Third Floor has collaborated on projects in Hollywood and around the world, guided by top directors and designers building visual worlds and stories of all scales. Now, what exactly will TTF be doing on the metaverse? Basically, the studio will be helping with the visuals, designing and developing the virtual environments, buildings, and landmarks to make them truly Shiba Inu inspired. They'll also be helping with the storytelling, making sure that the whole environment ties into the idea of Shiba Inu. There are already ideas on ground, but TTF will help to expand them and take them from concept to 3D prototypes. Thankfully, it's not just Shiba Inu that is excited about this partnership. Dane Smith, the Chief Strategy Officer at the Third Floor, has also released an official statement that speaks to his excitement. Part of what he wrote is that the Metaverse is offering everyone new opportunities to develop and participate in world building and the visual universe and we are thrilled to collaborate with Shiba Inu teams as they innovate within this expanding landscape. The Shiba Army's vision for an artistic driven and engaging online world is inspiring. With players like TTF coming on board the development of the metaverse, we can expect it to basically blow our collective minds. All the parties that are currently involved in this development do not only have the skill, but they also have the experience. So, if you've already purchased land on the metaverse, you might want to start counting yourself lucky. Speaking on the metaverse, Shiba Inu has said that it will be a virtual display of the culmination of Shiba Inu's history as a community. The visuals will be beautiful and innovatively designed and it will be something that the community can be really proud of. According to Shiba Inu, we are building immersive experiences that will allow users to explore, benefit, and interact in a virtual space like no other. Now, for those that have been skeptical about Shib's role in all of the expansions that have been happening, it was once again reiterated that Shib will be at the center of the metaverse. We do not yet know categorically what specific roles she will be playing, but whatever they will be, we can expect those roles to come with more use cases for the token and maybe even burn some. But more than that, we can expect a significant price jump for the token and a number of analysts seem to be of the same opinion. Analysts believe that this new development and following Sheep's current price trend, the token could actually see an up to 40% price pump. Apparently, the token is right on the brink of a breakout and is just waiting for the right push. A partnership with a big-name studio could very well be that push that it needs. It sure doesn't hurt that burn efforts have remained intense, but before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 SHIB. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck! Over the past week, the community was able to burn up to a billion SHIB tokens with about 19 million of those burns happening in the past 24 hours over 8 different transactions. The SHIB burn portal is proving very instrumental to SHIB burns which is one more reason for us to trust the process when it comes to the Shiba Inu dev team. 
Anyway, moving past the dev team and all the work that's been put into it, let's get into talking about Vitalik Buterin. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Buterin was recently linked with Shiba Inu. At this point, I believe that every member of the Shiba Inu community is aware that half of the circulating supply of Shiba Inu was given to Buterin as a gift, who, in turn, burned about 90% of the tokens that he was gifted. The remaining 10%, Buterin donated to the India COVID Relief Fund. Now, Buterin used some of the proceeds from that fund to fund a PhD program that explores the safe development and deployment of artificial intelligence technology. Apparently, this is a fellowship grant thing, and the winners were just recently unveiled. But what does this have to do with Shiba Inu? Well, the funds that have been deployed into the fellowship grant are proceeds from the Shib gift that were given to Buterin. Buterin himself recognizes this, which is why he made his appreciation known to the community. He wrote, Big thanks to the Shiba Inu community whose cryptocurrency made these fellowships possible. Shiba Inu might not be as big as Buterin's Ethereum, but it's already doing great things. Hopefully, there's more to come. Now, let's get into the general crypto news. Elon Musk has been in the news for a number of things in recent times, but this time around, it's just his company's name that's being mentioned. In Tesla's recent earnings call, it was announced that the electric vehicle company has converted 75% of its Bitcoin holdings into fiat currency. The token converted $936 million worth of Bitcoin into cash, leaving it with about $218 million worth of Bitcoin at the end of Q2. By the way, as of the end of 2021, Tesla's Bitcoin portfolio was almost $2 billion. Considering how the crypto market has been so far this year, it is to be expected that the value of that portfolio is significantly reduced. Could this be the reason that Tesla decided to sell off more than half of its Bitcoin portfolio? Please tell us what you think in the comments section below. While you're doing that, you should know that Michael Saylor, CEO of MicroStrategy, has reacted to Tesla's move to sell off 75% of its Bitcoin portfolio. Well, he didn't exactly react directly to Tesla, he basically just posted this on his Twitter page. If you sell 75% of your Bitcoin, you will only have 25% of your Bitcoin left. However, considering that Tesla just sold off 75% of its holdings, there is really no one else that he could have been referring to. Saylor's tweet speaks to a clear difference between MicroStrategy and Tesla's reaction to the dipping crypto market. While Tesla is selling off 75% of its holdings, MicroStrategy has not only continued to hold, continued to hold, but actually has been buying the dip. A lot of people seem to think that Saylor isn't making the right decision with these new purchases, but he has come out to defend his decision, even saying that he'll continue to buy. Anyway, considering that MicroStrategy is one of the foremost financial institutions in the country, Saylor must really know what he's doing. But only time will tell which of these companies is currently making the right decision. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there. If you're a true Shiba Inu fan, then you must check out this video.